New Orleans television station WBUE shot footage of 10 people arrested in that city last week. All of them were heavily armed and apparently planned to leave this country soon on an invasion of the Dominican Republic. It is still not known who was behind the attempted coup. But federal agents say there was someone chosen to head the country's government if the invasion was successful. Along with the men arrested, agents seized a large quantity of arms, ammunition, and explosives. In looking at the footage of the men who were arrested, I tried to see if any of them matched with men I had seen in the Ku Klux Klan Special Forces training camp story that we did last year. I saw two men who looked similar. But I cannot be certain because many of the Klansmen in the Special Forces training camp near Cullman had painted their faces as a disguise. And some even wore total face masks so that we could never identify them at some later date. Terry Tucker, a former Army Special Forces soldier, trained the men for the Klan and told federal authorities that 26 men meet every month at that camp near Cullman, Alabama. The agents allegedly have established that at least three of the commandos arrested last week in New Orleans are associated with Tucker. This is Tucker as he put his men through guerrilla training. It has also been learned that six members of the Klan guerrilla force in Alabama have been served subpoenas. But Alabama KKK Grand Dragon Roger Handley said he does not believe his Klansmen have anything to do with the invasion thing. Those are his words. We probably won't learn much more unless and until there are indictments. I asked Alabama Grand Dragon Roger Handley if he really thought he could...